All right, just wanted to go over with you guys a little class on a cordage. You know, obviously, especially us in the military, we like to carry pocket support out in the field with us. It's always a good thing to have just for tying gear down or whatever we need to, but it's also a good uh, survival tool to have, which in case you are stuck out in the woods or in a position or away from your own uh, uh, home friendly forces. As you see here, this is just my little tactical survival kit, and I do have 20 feet of cordage in it, uh, plus all the, the guts in it too. It makes it a lot more. I have, have a lot more uh, uh, cordage at hand. And I also have my uh, 100 mile an hour tape of duct tape on the side of it too, a little bit of it. And um, we also carry full size rolls of duct tape with us. But um, what I want to go over is a little class on how to make cordage if you don't have any cordage like 550 cord or rope to use and you need to uh, uh, tie stuff down, strap stuff together, or just uh, any, any time that you might have a survival situation and you need to make cordage. And the way we're going to do that is with the 550, or sorry, with the 100 mile an hour tape. Let's say your your stock of cord is out of the picture, you already used it up, you ran out of it, or you lost all your gear, and you're in a situation where you do need to tie stuff down, but you do have duct tape or 100 mile an hour tape available. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, the 100 mile an hour tape is pretty much the same as duct tape. It's very waterproof. If you attach it to something, adhere to something uh, while it's dry, it pretty much stay water too. Very very strong. Um, the way this is made is actually a mesh of fibers that has the um, adhesive sprayed on top. So that's what you're actually using it. A mesh of fiber that's very strong. Um, that's why when you pull it apart, you do get this little string. That's how that stuff's created. And um, rolled over top of itself, just like this. And this piece is the piece I pulled off and and ripped down into small small strips and pulled it over itself. It's still very very strong. It's going to hold a lot of weight. Obviously, you can't mountain climb with it. Or for uh, heavy tie downs and even um, if you had to in the last ditch scenario to make a rope to help you climb down and traverse some kind of steep terrain is actually going to be able to support your weight and do that. Now the first thing I want you to do is pick up one of your pieces. You got four in front of you. And uh, with these pieces what I want you to do, we're going to make it just a simple two plant two ply cordage. Starting off with one piece, turning it into two. Now what I want you to do is I want you to find an area not completely to the end but not in the middle. Here, 
you're going to twist out that top piece. That bottom piece, you're then going to grip and twist that top piece over top of it. Alright? So you're twisting one piece by itself, and then twisting the bottom piece under it.
see how hard it took for us, how much weight we actually had to put into breaking that. It, it actually held pretty strong. We're really yanking to pull that. Two men having to yank on both ends of this to get that to break, but you can see how strong and durable that cordage is. You know, once again, you're not going to use that cordage for, you know, mountain climbing or anything like that, but the secure gear, this tie down stuff, making uh, shelters or whatever, you know, if you got to fasten stuff up to make repairs and whatnot. Tell when you don't get the wraps tight. <laughs> okay, with the four ply, now if you wanted to make a four ply, which is four strands, I'm going to start with my cordage. I'm just going to do the same technique of starting it. I'm going to twist this around. Bring it as tight as I can. where you only have one piece come off the top and two, one piece come off the bottom, now you have two. But you're still going to treat it in the same fashion. You're going to twist the top two, bring the bottom two up behind it and over it. Twist the top two, bottom two. Even if you did a couple single or two plies or four plies, you could then again take those two those individual ropes and do exactly the same thing with splicing two ropes together to make yourself a nice big thick rope for whatever use you need need to have. So that's my class on uh, on improvised cordage.